Hi guys, today we'll be making this expensive looking DIY basket. Well, let's start crafting. This project you will need some plastic spoons, two different color of Dollar Tree jute, some coffee beans and a tacky glue. So our basket is consists of six flowers. So we will be making petals to create our flowers. So for each flower, we'll need six petals, which is we're going to be using six plastic spoons, but we'll need two different kinds, which is one bigger, one a little smaller. I did not have the smaller one, but I will show you how I walked around this step. Now, as you can tell what I'm doing, I used my tacky glue and I swirled it around the whole spoon and then I wrapped my white jute all over it. And I did this to all of my six spoons and I let it to dry. As you can tell, in the back of the spoon, the glue is white. When the glue turns clear, that means it's dry and it's ready to be peeled off. So make sure you wait for it. Now, see what I'm telling you? I know how to work around <laughs> because I could not find all the spoons. So I draw my own. I use the permanent marker on my regular spoons and then I start wrapping my um, brown jute in a circular motion just like I did with my white jute. And by the way, the white jute, I bleached it myself. If you would like to know how to bleach this jute, I will link it in the description below so you can go check it out. It is a blog post on my website with the step-by-step -step instructions. Guys, the basket is gorgeous, but it is a very tedious project because I had to wait and wait for the tacky glue to dry. So that was getting on my nerves. Now we check one more time, the spoon is clear and we can peel it off. If you don't wait for it to fully dry, it's not a big deal. It still will come off, but you will have to use your wet napkins to wipe the spoon off the glue. But if you wait, everything comes off just like, oh, like a butter, you know, off the knife. And it's super cool. Now what I do, I put all my petals together, which is we're gonna only use a little bit of glue on the white one and attach the brown one to it right kind of right on the middle and then when you get all of those six together you kind of peel the brown one a little bit towards you or towards me towards the front so it will create a 3d effect when you do that then i did i did in sets of three i kind of like side you know swipe a little bit of hot glue on the side and attached one to another and I did this to three and then I did them all together just like that so don't worry if it look finicky because it kind of you know was giving me some trouble but the tacky glue is so awesome to work with because you can bend it after wait for also no 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 wait for the hot glue to dry <clears throat> and secure your sides before you kind of mess with it and trying to bend it and do all that so but see how it is now it's all look like a flower now we're gonna make a middle portion for it which is yeah i burned myself a couple of times because um to start this process you gotta you know kind of roll it in a little ball and more and more and more and to make a perfect circle what i did i keep rolling it and then i measured it to cover the back and i did another one for the inside of the flower as well see i got two and now I'm gonna attach one to the back with the hot glue just like that and then I will use my coffee bean and it, <laughs> it didn't work the way I wanted I kind of wanted to create uh I don't know what I was thinking but the coffee beans were just um, I wanted to make a flower out of it and it looked like some you know the first grader did it but I actually keep on going and it turned out pretty good but I should have used like just five like middle and four but yeah look at it looks like a beetle <laughs> I don't know what was that all about but I was 
super happy how it turned out because it actually looked cool. So you do all this to your six flowers. If you want a bigger basket, you might need to make two more of those flowers. See, I only got six. So the next step will be to assemble the basket together, which I was using the hot glue and secured two petals from each flower. And I went all the way in a circle and then connected the last two to the well, the last two to the first two. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess that's the way it is. So, but the hot glue is that's a chair bonder. It holds it pretty good, and you will see at the end what I mean holds it pretty good. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Elena, and this is my crafting channel. If you would like to learn how to make a budget-friendly high-end expensive looking items this is a place for you i will teach you and i will show you so i would really love for you to join me don't forget to click subscribe and give this video a like the next step would be to make a bottom for our basket i took a regular printer paper and i measured my basket used my little handy dandy tool and made a circle and then I made a smaller circle with an opening so the basket I kind of wanted to have you know doesn't I didn't want to have a solid like bottom I wanted to have a hole in the middle don't know why just thought it, it would look nifty because the way I wanted to wrap the bottom portion of it it needed a hole in the middle so <laughs> I made uh, a template then I went and ripped a piece of cardboard from my stash of cardboard Amazon boxes that I am apparently have way too much and I didn't realize. So I keep, I told my, my family that I don't need to save them anymore because I am starting having nothing but cardboard around me along with the toilet paper rolls, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so anyway, I cut two circles to make the bottom stronger and I glue them together. So they will be a little thicker, just like that, using the hot glue. So when you do that, uh, we are ready for the next step. And I need your attention here. I like to create a chain length jute. So what I used, I used my crochet tool, which is four and a half millimeters. I made a slip knot. And then I just keep pulling, pulling a jute string through the hole one after another one after another and it created this beautiful chain link jute string i guess i don't know how you call it what, what would you call it like a different type of jute <laughs> i i guess whatever but anyway so what i did i created the, see how big ball it is i used like a whole set of it and i just watched the movie and just keep on you know chain linking it I, it's actually really calming too <laughs> which i need but i wrapped that jute around the bottom and it kind of looked really cool i thought it was really nifty but you can use a regular jute you don't have to create a chained jute i loved it now the next step what i did i thought you know what i kind of want to outline the sides of the bottom as well and what it, as you could tell this jute looks a little bit different because i used a bigger crochet tool which is a uh, six millimeters and but the same jute from the dollar tree in it the bigger the tool you use the bigger the holes like creates the chain um of the jute string so just keep in mind the smaller the tool you will be the neater and the tidier of uh, jute links that you if you if you decide to do that but i wrapped it around the whole circle and the next we're gonna make a handle for the basket and it's like in the inside circle so i wanted the basket to be like the different shape a little bit you will see what i mean so what i did i used three strings on each side which is total of nine and of my bleach jute and i just braid it like a regular braid and you keep on going i didn't make it too big i measured it and i stopped now when you're done you will use your tacky glue on the front and on the back of your braided uh, jute uh, handle that you just made and guys and let it dry I just hang it on my ring light 
and it was perfect it, it, it actually dries pretty fast and what it does it will make your basket handle kind of like really stiff like a real basket you know what i mean not like bending back and forth so i, I love it now next step we're gonna attach our flowers to the bottom and all i did i just secured um some of the like the bottom petals with my uh hot glue and i waited a little bit so it's you know it's nice and tidy before i went to the next one and then i added a little more a little more i didn't really actually use a lot of glue but yeah i think it's it's pretty cool the the glue holds it holds that basket <laughs> fairly good but anyway i went around the circle and did it to each petal and now i secure my handle to the sides and see what i mean i made like a circle inside my basket with that braided jute i don't know why it just give it a shape of a basket and i just because i wasn't sure what i was the intention was it was for the fruits but apparently everybody using this little thing for anything they feel like it see what i mean apparently this is a basket for all occasions my kids were recording a TikTok video and decided that Boo Boo, my little dog, would be the star. Well, if you like this video, make sure to check this one out. But for now, it is bye and I will see you in my next video real soon.